We have a second tool that we can use to add space and dimension or depth uh, to any instrument, uh, in our case, uh, the lead vocal, uh, and that's delay. And uh, delays are a repeated version of the sound that you send to them. As an example, uh, they're like an echo. So if somebody says, hello, hello, that is the delay. Um, we can do that with devices that uh, emulate this process and a number of the things that we do in our, the way that we set up a delay are to emulate the way that it would actually occur in nature which is you'll notice if I do the sound right now with my mouth hello hello the second version is quieter it's also darker and rounder and a little bit more ambient it's not hello hello it doesn't sound just like it so on the digital delay we'll treat it in all those ways to make it emulate that sound of you yelling across a lake and hearing your voice bounce back at you or, or yelling across a, to the other side of a city street where you hear it bounce back at you. So here is our digital delay. Uh, digital delay has a few parameters, the delay time, the feedback, and then the amount of low pass filtering. So here, let's walk through it. Our delay time is set at 517, which is a quarter note for the tempo of our song. And our feedback is set fairly high. Um, 37 is actually a fairly high feedback. It's an awful lot of repeats, but in this track, it works just fine. And at the same time, we are rolling off an awful lot of the top end. We are rolling off everything below about 3K. So our delay isn't going to be very bright. So let's take a listen to just the delay. I'm gonna mute the reverb so that all we will be hearing is delay and voice. So first we'll hear the voice dry, and then we'll hear the voice with just the delay. That girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time trying to think, try to figure her out. I get now with delay. That girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time try to think, try to figure her out. I now for a moment, I'm going to turn up this filter back to off. And let's hear what that delay sounds like. You hear when it's repeating, it's just as bright as the original vocal, which makes it distracting and at the same time makes it feel not as realistic as what we're used to hearing when we hear an actual delay in real time, an echo in a in an actual space where we could hear something bouncing back at us. It almost always comes back darker. I mean, I can't imagine a space where it wouldn't. It's traveling across a distance and that distance takes away the top end. So again, with the low pass filter in, here it is sounding more natural and also at the same time, less distracting. Additionally, this also emulates tape delay, which rolled off the top end. That girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time trying to think, try to You hear it especially on the syllable uh, out and about, both of those syllables. So on those syllables, when we hear the repeat and it jumps out, it's not as distracting as it was before. There's a few other things we do to this uh, delay to make it sound more like uh, a, a delay in real time or an echo in, real t uh, in, in reality. And the other is we add reverb to the return. So let's go ahead and add our reverb send so that we're placing reverb on top of the delay. Girl is all I'm thinking about. Spend my time trying to think, try to figure her out. I got no. So we've rolled off the top end, and on top of the delay, we've added reverb. So really, our delay is is an additional pre-delay. We hear some of the repeats of the delay, and it's also adding in more reverb. And let's do one more thing. Let's add in the reverb. That girl is all. And let's add in the rest of the tracks, uh, put the automation back in on this track. And here is the finished mix with the doubled vocal and the background vocals. So that's how we use a delay to add additional depth 
uh, to our vocals in our mixing. And if you want to see more videos about uh, how to use different plugins and other mixing and recording techniques, go to our website at sae.edu.